In 2022, it quietly entered our lives. By 2023, it was everywhere, from classrooms to courtrooms. By 2025, it became something even more intimate, a mirror, a tutor, a friend, and a threat. This is ChatGPT, and this is what every American needs to know before the future writes itself. Created by OpenAI, ChatGPT is a language model, a type of artificial intelligence trained on billions of sentences from books, websites, and conversations. It doesn't think like a human, but it's trained to predict the next word in a sentence so well that it often feels like it does. In 2024 alone, more than 100 million Americans interacted with ChatGPT, writing emails, creating resumes, coding, and even getting therapy advice. And now, with memory features introduced in 2025, it can remember who you are, what you've said, and how you feel. But how did we get here so fast? In the early days, AI was cold and robotic. But in November 2022, ChatGPT was released to the public, and within five days, over a million users signed up. Schools panicked, tech giants scrambled, Congress held emergency hearings. What had once been the future of science fiction was suddenly typing your homework. And while Silicon Valley saw innovation, Middle America saw uncertainty. ChatGPT doesn't just answer questions. It can draft legal documents, write news articles, even code full apps. That means some jobs will disappear, but others will evolve. A 2024 report by McKinsey found that over 30% of U.S. workers will be affected by AI automation by 2030. Customer service? AI's already answering phones. Data entry? Mostly replaced. Script writing and voiceovers? AI can now do both. But those who learn to use AI will be the ones leading in this new economy. It's not AI that will replace you. It's someone using AI that will. Eric Schmidt, former Google CEO. Every question you ask ChatGPT, every story you share, can be stored, analyzed, and learned from. In 2023, Samsung employees accidentally leaked confidential data through ChatGPT. In 2024, Italy temporarily banned ChatGPT over data privacy concerns. OpenAI claims your data is protected, but when AI remembers your name, your job, your trauma, are we still in control? We're not just using AI, it's using us too. Dr. Timnit Gebru, AI ethics researcher. In 2025, OpenAI introduced something new. Long-term memory. Now ChatGPT can remember that you're a teacher from Ohio, that your dad passed last year, that you're thinking of quitting your job. It can comfort you, advise you, even emotionally bond with you. MIT neuroscientists recently found that brain scans of people using ChatGPT showed emotional response patterns similar to talking with a real friend. We're not just talking to code anymore, we're connecting. With great power comes potential collapse. If AI gets it wrong, people could lose jobs, identities, even freedom. If it gets it right, it could cure diseases, teach the next generation, and redefine creativity. The U.S. government is now investing billions in AI regulation, ethics, and innovation. In 2025, President Harris formed the National AI Ethics Task Force, the first of its kind in the world. But are laws fast enough to catch up with code? In the 1990s, the Internet changed how we searched. In the 2000s, smartphones changed how we lived. And now, AI is changing who we are. We are the first generation in history to build a machine that can talk back. Whether we use it to divide or to unite, to isolate or empower, will define the American experience of the next century. ChatGPT isn't just a tool. It's a reflection of us, our fears, our hopes, our questions. And in the end, Maybe the most important question isn't what it can do, but what we will do with it. What if the future isn't written by humans, but co-written with machines? Subscribe for more documentaries that decode tomorrow, today.